Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SIF that is Services Integration Framework. In today's session, we will see one more API that is nothing but CleanSpot. So, what is CleanSpot? So, earlier session we have seen the put API by using which we can insert or update the record in the MDM hub. Using CleanSpot API, we can standardize the record and update or insert the record in the MDM hub. So that is the major difference between the put and the clean put. The other differences we'll see as we proceed further. So let's start today's session. There are two, two classes available for the clean put API. First is clean put request and the second is clean put response. So what are the characteristics of the clean put? We can insert or update the record using the clean put as like the put API. In case of the put API, we use the package name. However, in the case of the clean put, we, we, we have to use the mapping name. So difference is for the put API, we use the package name. For the clean put, we use the mapping name. As like put, uh, put API, we have the similar functionality for the clean put with respect to state enable. State enable packages are nothing but the packages which are built on the base object which are enabled for the state. So if you have such a uh, if you have such if you're using such a state enable base object in order to update record in the state enable base object the valid values for the hub state indicator are 1, 0 and minus 1 that is active, pending and deleted. As like put API we cannot update this or we cannot change the state of the record in the clean put API as well. Clean put requests process null values that means if you are if you do not provide any value for the particular column the value will be updated with a null for such record. The clean put perform the stage batch job and the load batch job in a single request. So that is the advantage of the clean put. So if you consider the put API, it uses the package name, just directly update the using the bad job, load batch job. However, if you use a clean put API, it runs the stage job as well as the load job. The very important point about the clean put is clean put request object does not use the landing and staging table so normally in the interrogation they ask oh so what are the landing and staging tables are used for the clean put so the answer is clean put never uses the landing and staging table it only uses the base object table to update however the column names used in the request are same as the landing table column names in case if you want to achieve the data filtration like suppose you want to update only person not the organization you can do that so in order to achieve that we can use the mdm hub mapping to add the filter so where where we can see the mdm hub mapping in order to do, see that you have to go to the mdm hub go to the mapping select appropriate mapping and you have the query parameter. So you can use the enable condition where you can pass a particular condition like the party type as a person, something like that. You can enable the distincts also. So these are the filter condition you can use. Next thing is in order to achieve the filter filtration and if you use the delta detection in your MDM implementation and you want only the record which are new or record which are really updated those need to be sent or those need to be updated so in that case you can use the delta detection so delta detection suppose you have used the delta detection on the last update date and for that particular record the last update date is the same as previously updated then such record will not get updated if you use the delta detection in normal batch scenario where we load the data from Pre, uh, landing to staging, staging to BO or base object. 
we use the delta detection and for achieving the delta detection PRL table is one of the important table that is previous landing table so for the clean spot API online previous landing table that is OPL table will be get used to achieve the filtration so delta detection is configured the MDM hub OPL table will be get populated what are the updates you are making through the clean spot API so whenever you update again using the clean spot API the record will be checked against the OPL table and it will check whether the delta is there if delta is there the record will be updated or the inserted if the if you are updating or if you are updating or inserting record which is already there in the OPL table with the same delta detection functionality and if it is, there is no delta then the record will not be updated or inserted so this is a very important point with respect to clean spot api as well required parameter we no need to pass any um, a record key here the record we can pass what are the we are going to update however in this case we need one of the unique column from that record so unique column need to be set need to be set in this record which we need to update now before going to start implementation of the clean spot make sure following points as we should understand both put request and clean spot request object process null values that means if you do not provide a value for the particular column column will be updated with the null value do not insert a null value into non null column suppose you have like customer id is not null label column and you are sending null values to that column your request will fail so do not pass or do not insert the null values for the non null column mostly not null columns are unique columns in the database if you do not specify values for a not non null label column the empty value empty field are set to null do not use clean put request object to insert or update a read only column read only columns are normally system generated if the putable property of system uh, column is enabled means where you can find the putable property you have to go to the base object for that So once you go to the base object, you will see the column definition. So select base object column. You will see the various columns available there. You can narrow down or you can expand the system columns. And at the right hand corner, you will see putable. So if if any of the system column is enabled for the putable property, then we can update the uh, system columns also so but it is not uh, recommended to update read only columns if the portable property of the system column is enabled in the mdm hub we can use the clean put request to insert or update the system column such as last updated or updated by these are the field we can update we have to make sure the portable property is enabled for those columns if you are handling some special character such as single quote or tilt then you have to use the backslash in your code otherwise your co your load or your code will fail with the special character issues so append this back backslash before the single code as well as before the tilt before processing the data sample code for the, for the clean put request will look like this we have to create object of clean put request then we have to create object of record one which we are going to update or insert into MDM hub on that obje uh, record object we have to pass the Cyprian object UID that is mapping name then we have to set the what are the record we want to update or insert in this case address ID address line city name last updated etc once we populate the rec record object we have to pass that record object into the request object and we can process this request using the Cyprian client and it's a process method once it is processed it will give us in the response how many records are updated with the record updated or inserted so let's have a demo on this so before going for the demo 
let's see a couple of configuration. So we have the customer table. In the customer table, we have the couple of columns such as app name, L name, cust ID, full name. All the column, none of the column is putable. The custom columns are by default, we can update or insert, but the system columns are not putable. So we're not able to update the read only columns of the sources, uh, system, uh, system generated columns. The next thing is we have created the mapping. Mapping name is mpcast and we do not have any filter condition we uh, or we do not have any delta detection. Uh, so this mapping is based on the landing table LNDCast and the staging table STGCast. We have the first name, last name, mid name, full name and cast ID. The base object column, if you want to check the corresponding to do, we have the F name, L name, cust ID, and full name. So the landing table na column names and the base object table column names are different. So whenever you, you are going to fire the clean put request, you have to use the landing table name. So make sure what are the name you are going to use that is present in the landing table. So let's go and see the program so in order to use the clean spoot api we have created the clean spoot api class so you can give any name then we have created the cypherent client object we have initialized the cypherent client object into the main method using the uh, cypherent client uh, pool if you want to see the details of this pool how to create we have the previous tutorial you can go through that then in this uh code we have created what are the class we have created clean spoot api we created object of that and on that object we call the cleans and put cast so this is the one of the private method in the same class and we are using here the clean spoot api code so we have the created object of the clean spoot request then we created record object by passing the values mp cast that is mapping name in the mdm hub so mapping name we can go and you just copy the mapping name you can go to the general and here you will see the name that is mpcast the next thing is we are going to use the first name last name cust id full name and last update date so if you see the name of the columns are the same as the landing table name so if you want to see the landing table name you can expand the landing table and see so these are the column first name last name mid name last full name etc the base object names are different that is f name l name etc so make sure you are using the column names same as the uh, landing table name so what i'll do before going to do make any changes i will show you what is the current data so in order to see the current data into the customer i will go to the package and click on the views so i can see there are five records and we have alex 3, Alex 1, etc. So let me update one of the record with the first name. So this is the first name, Alex 3 is there. I will update this Alex 3 with Alex 5 and let's see how it works. I ran the program and program is completed. Let's do the refresh. Now I can see one of the record got updated with the Alex 5. How that this particular record got updated? So in order to determine that you can go to the mapping and check how your PQ source is populated. The PQ source is based on your cust ID. If cust ID changes, then a new record will be inserted. As long as your cust ID is not changing, your record will be just updated. It will not insert. So if the, your PQ source is based on this one of the column and if that column get changed, a new record will be inserted. If that column is not getting changed, then record will be updated. The reason the record got updated is because cust ID is 002. So which was already there, that is the reason record got updated. So I will show you one more time demo. I, this time I will update this. 2002 record it is having custody 0021 so i will make change to 0021 and i will update its first name as a alex51 
let me run this program program is successful let's check the record so now you can see the 2002 record got updated with the first name now if you try to insert or if you want to achieve the new insertion then I will update with this something odd number that is new number so that that new record will be inserted and I will make the first name Alex W and the last name is Watson W and then the program now this time you will be able to see the new record now you can see 2003 so by this way we can conclude that we can use the clean Boot api for standardization and insert and update in the mdm hub but where we are doing the standardization the standardization whatever you are doing in the mapping suppose you are trimming you are doing the upper case lower case what are the cleans functions you are going to use in this mapping that will be automatically get called suppose you want the first name to be uppercase always so no need to do the uppercase in the source code it you have to just use that uppercase in this mapping so the whenever you call the mapping name the all the cleans function which are mentioned in this that will get automatically called normally the address doctor which is used for the address cleansing it is the best example for the calling the mapping so whenever you update the address make sure you use the clean spot api so that the address doctor from the mapping will be automatically get called so no need to give the extra call to the address doctor by uh okay so there is one more thing about the clean spot so we have seen so what are the differences between the put and the clean spot very briefly but i have one more session where i will give you the more details on that so we also send the what are the input parameters we need to say what are the best practices to implement the clean spot we have seen the sample code now the next thing is i have one question for all you viewers so the question is is it possible to get the clean data while processing record using the clean spot api so if you see the code so we are just populating the record and we are just sending to the Cypherin client and getting the response. So is it possible something like that? What are the data we are sending through the clean spot request? And I want some, some somewhere here or after this request. Suppose I want what data got cleansed during this request. Is it possible to get that cleans data during this processing? So you can answer this question in this video below or if you want the answer to this question you can mention the comment in the video below as well thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful time thank you